Hi, Petty Lane here. In this video, I'm gonna go over cost entry. You can actually enter your project-related costs directly in JobTread or directly in QuickBooks Online. Let's talk first about entering your costs into JobTread. You can enter bills, bill credits, credit card charges, expenses, refunds, and checks in JobTread, and they will show up in QuickBooks in real time. Pretty great. One of the advantages of using JobTread to enter your costs would be to use purchase orders. Purchase orders are non-posting and they're not gonna talk back and forth between JobTread and QuickBooks Online. So if you wanna use purchase orders, you're probably gonna use JobTread to enter all of your job-related costs. Another advantage of using JobTread to enter your job-related costs is to make sure that those costs end up in the right place on the budget. Let's walk through entering a bill directly into JobTread. From the left menu bar, click Jobs, then click into a project, then click document. You can see that we can enter a bill, a credit, an expense, or a refund. For this example, we're gonna enter a bill. First, choose the vendor. Then, choose the line item or items on the budget that you wanna enter a cost for. We're gonna choose framing materials, $1,200. Notice here we can give it a date if we don't, the date will default to today, but let's say we need to backdate it to the actual date from the vendor, as well as a payment due date. We can also put the vendor's bill number here. Notice that we have the push to QuickBooks online toggle turned on. This is cool because you can actually enter costs in JobTread without pushing them to QuickBooks online. An example of that would be if you're entering your beginning job costs into JobTread for your initial integration. Notice also that we get the option to push this as a bill. On any transaction, you can choose to push it as a bill or push it as an expense. These different accounts are the different bank and credit card accounts that are in QuickBooks. Again, for this example, we're gonna choose to push this into QuickBooks Online as a bill so it will show up in our accounts payable. From here, click Save. And this bill will show up in QuickBooks Online in real time. Now let's talk about what it looks like to enter our job-related costs directly in QuickBooks Online and send them to JobTread. The first thing we gotta do is check our settings. Under the gear icon, Account and Settings. Click Expenses from the left menu bar. Then click the little pencil under Bills and Expenses and make sure that you have track expenses and items by customer toggled on. That's gonna allow us to add the product or service to our cost forms. Next, click New Plus to enter a bill. Choose our vendor. Make sure that our date and vendor bill number is all correct. And here's where it gets interesting. We're not going to enter our cost directly to a category. If we do that, it's going to show up in JobTread as uncategorized on the budget. Very messy. What we need to do is use the item details tab on all of the forms. You'll have this on your bills, on your credit card charges, and on your expense forms. Where you won't see this is in the bank feeds. We are not able to enter our job related costs in the bank feeds because we are unable to hit the item details section. We have to hit the item details section because that will allow us to choose a product or service rather than a category. And as we know, it's the product or service that is mapped to the job tread cost code. Here we'll select our framing materials item. And choose the customer project. Here it's super important that we are choosing the job level in JobTread. We don't wanna choose the customer. We don't wanna choose the location. We have to make sure that we are actually choosing the job that maps to the job that is in JobTread. Once we save and close this, it's gonna show up in JobTread in real time. Something important to note. Notice that again, our cost codes are mapped to our products and services. Our products and services do not map to cost items. 
In many cases, you'll have job budgets with multiple cost items that all map back to the same cost code. Because in QuickBooks Online, we can only choose the cost code level. If there are multiple cost items on our budget that all map back to the same cost code, QuickBooks is going to put our cost on the very first cost item that is mapped to that cost code on the budget. And that may not actually be the right cost item when you're viewing the budget by cost item. So you'll wanna make sure that if you do this, you're viewing your budgets by cost codes or that you are building out your budgets and cost items and cost codes are the same. If you have any more questions, please email support at jobtread.com.